join me and pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dave, before you sit down, we have a, a proclamation here. And who's going to be up here to get it? Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, here we go. We have a proclamation. It's um, Child Support Awareness Month here in Claremont County. And whereas parenting and support go hand in hand, ensuring children grow up safe and healthy, and that children and families stay out of poverty. Our children are our most precious resource. By investing in them, we secure a future of hope and opportunity for all. Whereas ensuring that children receive the support they deserve involves working partnerships between county, state, and federal agencies. Um, parents, legislators, judges, healthcare professionals, advocacy groups, and many others. Whereas more than 13,000 Claremont County families benefited from more than $35 million in child support collected during fiscal year 2015. And whereas the vision of the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services Division of Child Support is that children can count on both parents for the financial, medical, and emotional support they need to be healthy and successful. And whereas the purpose and mission of the Claremont County Department of Job and Family uh, Services Division of Child Support um, are to enhance the well-being of children by assuring that assistance in obtaining support, including financial and medical, is available to children by locating parents, establishing paternity, establishing support obligations, and monitoring and enforcing these obligations. Whereas during Child Support Awareness Month, we recognize all parents who are deeply committed to the, to the success of their children. Our children's lives are important, and we make um, every possible effort to ensure that a solid foundation is established for each child in Claremont County. Now therefore be proclaimed that we, the Board of Claremont County Commissioners, to hereby proclaim the month of August 2016 as Child Support Awareness Month, signed by the Board of Commissioners, myself, David Jubal, and Ed Humphrey. So Brenda, on behalf of the Board, I want to present this to you again and thanking you guys for everything you do, and I'm Thank sure you, you want to say a few words. Yeah, I just have a couple of announcements to make. Um, I'm, I'm Brenda Gilreath. I'm an Assistant Director of Job and Family Services Division at Child Support. August, on August 3, it's Wear Green to show support of program awareness. On August 9, we're holding our annual Employee Recognition Award Ceremony. This year, it's being held at the Batavia Township Community Center, and that event focuses on saying thank you to our staff for a job well done. On Friday, August 19, from 9 to 11 a.m., we are holding a regional attorney training. It also is being held at the Batavia Township Community Center. Attorneys who practice family law in Claremont, Highland, Adams, and Brown County are welcome to attend. It's free, and it's been approved by the Supreme Court of Ohio for two continuing legal education credits. Our lead attorney, Teresa Ellison, as well as our staff attorney, Tim Rogus, are conducting the training, and they'll be providing legislative updates, including changes to the child support guidelines, recent changes. Anyone who's interested in the attorney training or general information about our program, I encourage them to visit our website at www.claremontsupportskids.org. I'd like to thank the Board of County Commissioners for their ongoing support of our program and for the proclamation. So, mm. thank you. Thank you. I said I can remember back when we hit first million dollars in a month. I remember that so, too. Yeah, and that was big. <laughs> yeah, it was and huge. now look at 35. 35 million. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. you. Oh, sure. Absolutely. We'll put the rose between the thorns. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now you're to again. Thanks. And, uh, hopefully we'll see them on the 9th.
right, David, item number two on our agenda now is um, adopting resolution 114-16 to pay our bills in an amount of $1,156,925.55. Is there a motion to adopt the resolution? So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Connie, item three, please. Recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with the concurrence of Stephen H. Raybould, County Administrator, to execute a memorandum of understanding buying among the Claremont County Mental Health and Recovery Board and the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services on behalf of the Claremont County Family and Children First to allow Claremont County Mental Health and Recovery Board to complete the requirements of the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration Grant known as the SAMHSA grant or the Fast Track grant, as the grant is in its seventh and final year and ends on September 29, 2016, as well as to provide reimbursement to the Department of Job and Family Services for expenses incurred for personnel and other costs of Family and Children First employees as they continue their responsibilities of the SAMHSA Fast Track grant subsequent to, the, to becoming employees of the Department of Job and Family Services for services commencing on July 1, 2016 and ending on September 29, 2016, the end of the grant period, with reimbursements to be paid by the Claremont County Mental Health and Recovery Board to the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services for a total amount not to exceed $55,000, effective for the period of July 1, 2016 through November 30, 2016, which includes the grant liquidation period, pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein. You want to do that again? <laughs> um, is there a motion then to execute the reference memorandum of understanding as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Hubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. And four, please. Recommendation to execute a purchase of service agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, and Tri State Youth Authority Incorporated doing business as Mohican Youth Academy out of Perrysville, Ohio for the provision of residential treatment services for children referred by the Department of Job and Family Services and or Claremont County Juvenile Court at the rates as defined therein, effective July 1, 2016 through June 30, 2017, pursuant to and compliance with the terms and conditions specified therein and contingent upon the issuance and receipt of a purchase order therefore. Is there a motion then to um, execute the reference purchase of service agreement with a contingency? as recommended. I'll make a motion for item four. I'll second that. Mr. Ubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. And five, please. Recommendation to authorize Robert L. Proud, President of the Board of County Commissioners, to execute the participation agreement by and between the County of Claremont, Ohio, on behalf of the Claremont County Department of Job and Family Services, the County Commissioners Association of Ohio Surf Service Corporation out of Columbus, Ohio, and the Ohio CSEA Directors Association Incorporated in Columbus, Ohio, regarding the Locate Non-Custodial non Parent Prison Data Program of the, Claremont, of the County Commissioners Association of Ohio Service Corporation for the provision of internet-based location services for non-custodial parents for the Child Support Enforcement Division of the Department of Job and Family Services through the APRIA system, also known as the Justice Exchange System, and as it relates to the data use agreement by and between the County Commissioners Association of Ohio Source Corporation and a Prius Incorporated out of, out of Louisville, Kentucky, attached thereto and made a part thereof as Exhibit A at the rates as defined therein, effective for the period of July the 1st, 2016 through June 30th, 2018, pursuant to the terms and conditions set forth therein and contingent upon the issuance and receipt of a purchase order required therefore. Is there a motion then to execute the reference participation agreement uh, with the contingency as recommended? So moved. I will second that motion. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Lyle, item six. Thanks. I'm Lyle, <coughs> excuse me, I'm Lyle Bloom, director with the Water Resource Department, and item six is a recommendation to adopt resolution number 115-16 resolving to authorize the execution of the first amendment to the sanitary sewer services agreement between the Claremont County Board of County Commissioners and the Hamilton County Board of County Board of Commissioners relative to providing public sanitary sewer services across county lines and designating sewer service areas 
based on retail or wholesale sanitary sewer services. Uh, this is previously ratified by the Claremont County Board of Commissioners on January 29th, 2014, and this represents the addition of a new retail service area located on Abandonville Road in Miami Township, Claremont County, as outlined in Exhibit B4, which is attached, uh, attached to this and made a part of with all other terms and conditions of the aforestated agreement to remain in full force in effect. So this is for the property at 927 Abandonville Road. It is directly adjacent to um, the City of Loveland uh, uh, Corporation line. It's the Children's Meeting House Montessori School. They, we do not have any sanitary sewer in any close proximity to that. And the uh, <clears throat> sewer within Loveland, which is Hamilton County MSD sewer service, area is I believe about 15 feet away so they're going to extend the sewer they will be a MSD sewer customer uh, moving forward then so how do they bill for that Lyle do they charge us for this for no the there's no no expense to Claremont County we we would receive no no sewer service bills for that they'll become a, a, a um, MSD sewer customer so they'll be billed by MSD so MSD would bill them correct and they're actually Western Water customers as well, so we have no, um, we provide no water or sewer services to that property. Have the Hamilton County Commissioners? The Hamilton County Commissioners have already approved this. They approved it a couple weeks ago, so now it's being uh, presented to Claremont County. Um, if approved, I will forward a copy to Ohio EPA to notify them of the change in uh, service areas. Okay. Is there a motion then to adopt resolution number one? 15-16 as recommended. So moved. Second. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Thank you. Item seven. Hey. Glad to have you. Thank you. Jeanette Nichols, I'm here with the Claremont County Prosecutor's Office. Um, recommendation of Alan Edwards, Assistant Prosecuting Attorney with the concurrence of Stephen A. Trable, County Administrator, to approve the electronic submittal of the DS Tracking Case Management Software End User Licer Agreement with Online Web Services U.S. Inc. out of Durango, Colorado for the purchase of web-based software for the use by the victim advocates impl implemented by the prosecuting attorney in the amount of $1,095.20 with a local cash match required in the amount of $273.80 be allocated from the 2016 annual appropriation for the advocate project for a total project budget amount of $1,369 and effective for a period of one year from the date of submission pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein and the issuance and receipt of a purchase order required therefore. Is there a motion then to approve the electronic submittal of the VST tracking case management software and user license agreement with the contingency as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Eight, please. A recommendation of D. Vincent Ferris, prosecuting attorney with the concurrence of Stephen H. Rabel, county administrator, to approve the electronic filing of the 2016-2017 Victims of Crime Act, VOCA, State Victims Assistance Act, grant application for the funding from the State of Ohio, State of Ohio Office of the Attorney General for the continuation of the advocate program to provide extend victim advocate services to the Claremont County Common Pleas, Municipal and Juvenile Courts implemented by the prosecuting attorney in the amount of $137,207.02 with a required local catch cash match in the amount of $34,301.76 to be provided from the 2016-2017 annual appropriations for the prosecuting attorney for a total VOCA program amount of $171,508.78 and an amount of $6,586 for the SVAA program with no local match required, therefore, for the total amount of $178,000 $178,094.78 for the advocate program for the period of October 1st, 2016 through September 30th, 2017, pursuant to and in compliance with the terms and conditions set forth therein. Is there a motion then to approve for the electronic filing for the 2016-17 victims of 
Crime Act, State Victims Assistance Act, grant application as recommended. So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you. Good job. Item 9, please. Item 9 is a recommendation of Pat Monger, the county engineer, to execute record plat number 629-2970 for the following subdivision located within Batavia Township and further to execute the combined performance and maintenance bond as well as the performance bond for sidewalks and the subdivision is Forest Glen Subdivision Section 2, Block D in Batavia Township. Is there a motion to execute the reference record plat um, and combination <coughs> bond and performance bond for sidewalks as recommended? So moved. Second. Shubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Ten, please. Item 10 is a recommendation of Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to acknowledge the receipt of notifications from Pat Monger, County Engineer, of his determination to close the following roads to through traffic. Claremont Lane between 4504 and 4508 Claremont Lane located in Union Township for the installation of storm sewer replacement beginning Tuesday 7-12-16 through Friday 7-22-16 as depicted on the Claremont Lane storm sewer replacement detour map included therewith. And Ferguson Drive 350 feet east of Ivy Point Boulevard on Ferguson Drive located in Union Township beginning Monday 7-11-16 through Wednesday 7-13-16 between the hours of 9 and 4 for the Claremont County Transportation Improvement District Ivy Point Boulevard Extension Project and Crane Schoolhouse Road between 2658 and 2679 Crane Schoolhouse Road located in Tate Township beginning Monday 71816 through Friday 82616 for the replacement culvert number CC38-10. Is there a motion then to acknowledge our notification from our county engineer about the road closings as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Yvonne, have item 11, please. Good morning. Good morning. Yvonne Smith, Benefit Plan Coordinator for Claremont <coughs> County. It's my recommendation with the concurrence of Thomas J. Igo, Assistant County Administrator, to authorize the payment of the Patient Centered Outcomes Research Institute or PERCORI fee to the Department of Treasury Internal Revenue Service at the rate of $2.17 per person for the average number of members in the Claremont County's self-insured health plans for calendar year 2015 for a total not to amount not to exceed $4,001.70 and to authorize Stephen H. Raybolt, County Administrator, to execute and file the Department uh, Treasury Internal Revenue Service quarterly federal excise tax return form 720 along with the afford stated fee on or before s July 31st of 2016 pursuant to and in compliance with the Federal pa Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. Is there a motion then to authorize um, the payment of the Patient Centered Outcomes Research Institute fee and to authorize our county administrator Steve Raybolt to execute and file um, the Department of with the Department of Treasury Internal Revenue Service quarterly federal excise tax return form 720 as recommended uh, I guess I'll make that motion sure <laughs> second Mr. Ubel. yes Mr. Proud. yeah now can you tell us what we just did <laughs> you signed away your life savings, I think. The uh, Affordable Care Act tax. Is yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, it's Yvonne, a, is, this the, is this the, we only have one more year of this, correct? Um, we have 2016 and 2017. And then it's finished. And then it's finished. It is. Yeah. We have mo one more year of the transitional reinsurance fee, right, which is we pay in 17 and then we're finished with that as well, and that's the correct. big number. That's the $165,000. So we have one more year of that as well, right? Correct, yes. <coughs> Which one is the research one? This one. This, this one. the PCORI fee is. Okay. Yes. Hopefully it all goes away, period, but still. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Item 12, please. Item 12 is a request from various departments to join professional organizations and to authorize payment of the annual dues in the amounts outlined below for membership therein pursuant to Section 325.21 of the Higher Revised Code and to authorize reimbursement of routine travel expenses associated therewith. It's the County Auditor's Office, Linda Fraley and or staff for the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. 
Is there a motion then to approve joining the professional organization, um, pay the dues, and authorize the reimbursement of any routine travel expense as recommended? So moved. Second. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Suki, 13, please. Item 15 are our financials for this week. First, we have our supplemental appropriations in juvenile detention, their regular salaries budget, $7,162.16 for a vacation payout upon retirement. And we also have in the retirement account for juvenile detention, $441.11 for that same retirement. Then in the FCF administration salaries account, uh, $147,464. This is in order to change the FCF administration group to the DJFS and authorize the appropriation over in that area. Um, then we have fringes for the FCF administrative organization, $40,377. Then we have their other expenses. Um, that is actually a credit of $187,841 because that's where it was appropriated as a transfer to FCF, so we're moving that up to salaries and fringes. Workers' compensation in the fringe benefit area, we've got a $60,000 increase for the balance of this year's staffing. Um, and then in Claremont, transportation connection, regular salaries. Um, oh, I'm sorry, that was the end of the supplemental. I jumped right into budget transfers. Um, then we have one budget transfer in Claremont Transportation Fund from their regular salaries to overtime, $30,000 because they're understaffed and they're working their current people on overtime to keep the services going. And then we have a cash transfer from public assistance to children's services, $171,370 uh, for the allocation that the board actually approved on June 15th. Is there a motion then to approve the supplemental appropriations, budget transfer, and the cash transfer as recommended? So moved. Second. You will. Yes. You're proud. Yay. Training and travel, 14, please. The County Auditor's Office, Philip Vinson, five days, Tampa, Florida, for the 82nd Annual International Conference on Assessment Administration, estimated not to exceed $2,130. Building Inspection Department, Carl Lamping, Heath Wilson, and Steve Scott, two days, Columbus, Ohio, for the 2016 Ohio Statewide Floodplain Management Conference, <clears throat> estimated not to exceed $1,267. Is there a motion to approve the training and travel requests as recommended? So moved. Second. Is she able? Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Wade, you have an add-on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. Um, the add-on today is a recommendation of myself, Wade Grabowski, Director of Facilities Management, with the concurrence of Mr. Stephen H. Rabel, County Administrator, to reject the sole bid heretofore received on 7-14-16 for the construction of the Domestic Relations Clerk of Courts Building and to authorize the Clerk of the Board to place a legal notice in a newspaper of general circulation on Thursday, 7 28 2016 re-advertising for bids for the construction of a Domestic Relations Clerk of Courts Building Pursuant to the plans and specifications, therefore, giving notice of a non-mandatory pre-bid meeting on Wednesday, 8-3-2016, 9 a.m. local time, to be held at the Domestic Relations Juvenile Court Facility, located at 2340 Claremont Center Drive, Batavia, Ohio, and containing a notice that bids will be received until 2 p.m. local time on Thursday, 8-11-16, in the office of the Board of County Commissioners, 3rd Floor, 101 East Main Street, Batavia, whereupon the bids will be publicly open and read aloud shortly thereafter, and this notice will also be posted on the Claremont County website at the following URL link, www.claremontcountyohio.gov. Um, do they exceed the 10%? Non-responsive. The uh, prosecutor determined that the only bid received was non-responsive, so we're going to do it again, and we're going to be successful this time. How far uh, behind does that make us? Based on the information that we've received from the architect, uh, KBA, um, probably two, maybe 30 days at the most, hopefully, depending on weather. That's the problem you get into in the fall, is the weather. Mm -hmm. Now, if we have a winter like last year, um, hopefully we won't be too far off. So they're unresponsive or we're non-responsive? We're non-responsive. Because of the parameters or Actually, they, they did not provide information that was pertinent to the bid documents and it was not just one item, it was several. If it wasn't for that, would it, would it have been a good bid um, otherwise? Oh, yes, absolutely. It was, abs it, was under, it was under the architect's estimate significantly. So, you know, we're hoping, uh, we're hoping for uh, 
better paperwork and better response this time. Good. Good. Okay, is there a motion then um, to reject the sole bid for the reference project and to authorize Judy Kasika, our clerk, to place the legal notice in the newspaper as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Gubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. We have a request for an executive session, and that's pursuant to Section 121.22G4 of the Ohio Revised Code, and that's to prepare for, conduct, or review negotiations or bargaining sessions with public employees concerning their compensation or other terms and conditions of their employment. It's a motion to go into executive session under that code, and for those reasons. So moved. Second. Mr. Gubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. We'll be back in a little bit. Let the record show the board came out of executive session and back into our regular session again with no action taken. And um, I think we have another add on. Sandy? Uh, Sandy Tahat, and I am here uh, with a recommendation of Judy Eshman, Director of the Department of Job and Family Services, with concurrence of Thomas Igel, Assistant County Administrator, to accept the fact finder's report and recommendation dated July 14, 2016, for case number 2015 MED 080747 relative to the collective bargaining agreement buying between the county and AFSCME Ohio Council 8. Uh, local 3536 who represent the bargaining unit employees of Job and Family Services whose contract was previously ratified by the board on February 20th 2013 for the period January 1st 2013 through December 31st 2015 and far, uh, further to authorize Stephen Raybolt County Administrator to execute the employer certification of fact-finding vote form relative thereto. Okay, uh, is there a motion then to accept the fact finder's report and to authorize our county administrator um, to file the employer certification as recommended? I will make that motion. I will second that. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you. Anything else? Yes, sir. Thanks, Brent. All right, we'll take a five minute recess for our minutes to be prepared. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of today's session? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from July 20th, 2016. Second. Shubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Again, with no further business, is there a motion to adjourn today's session? Motion to adjourn? Second that motion. Shubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you all. God bless and see you at the fair.